do I need maths for game dev? Well, yes, but actually no. What you're probably asking is, do I need to be good at maths to do game dev? Or does game dev use maths and therefore do I need to learn it? Short answer, yes. You will use maths doing game dev, but it's by no means a prerequisite. It's like asking, do I need to have a strong back to do pull-ups? Well, yeah, it would certainly help to have a strong back, but pull-ups are also about arms, the core, the chest even. If you focus too much on one area, your form will be wrong and you'll end up doing something completely different. Likewise, game dev is not just about maths. Yes, having a great understanding of maths would help. And yes, if you're planning on working as a programmer in some big team or corporate, math does become essential. But if you're like me, that's not what you want. For us indies or small teams, there's also problem solving, art, music, sound effects, game design, marketing. Think about it. If you see these as prerequisites and try to learn them one by one, you'll run out of life for God's sake. Just like how muscles aren't required for exercising, but are built through exercising and are used in exercising, I believe math skills aren't required for game dev, but something you build through it. Still not convinced? Just look at where I've been. Before I learned programming, I was one of the worst at maths in my class. I was consistently at the bottom and I hated it, I was so disinterested, I didn't see the point in it. But one day, I randomly learned I can type in funny characters in a text editor and make my computer do stuff. I started making small games for me and my friends, just for fun. The bigger and bigger ones, and my interest only grew from there. I wasn't trying to learn maths, but I naturally did. And before I knew it, my math grades started improving drastically. It, it got to a point where math classes were starting to get boring because I already knew 80% of what was being taught. All without learning maths, well, in the conventional sense. All of this was fun for me. It was play. Once you see it this way, Learning these math concepts becomes like unlocking new abilities. It drives you forward because it gives you purpose. And let's face it, sitting through a whole textbook or educational video just because maybe you'll use it someday is not fun nor sustainable. Of course, I'm not promising you better grades just because you start game dev. Just that, again, math is not necessarily a prerequisite. I mean, when you think about it for two seconds, this doesn't just apply to math or game dev. You need to destroy the I want to do it because I'm bad at it thought. Those aren't conditions to fulfill, but skills to grow. What's limiting you is not the lack of knowledge. It's not the lack of math skills, but it's the fact that you're not starting. Anyway, I digress. Actually, if you want to build an intuition for maths, I believe programming is the best way to do so, not the other way around. Why? Because you're interacting with the thing you're learning. It's hands-on. You see what each number does, why in its relation with other variables. You only learn what you need to learn and then immediately apply it. And most importantly, you keep using it. Alright then, where do I start? What I'd recommend for you is just picking a programming language and tool and just going for it. Just go for it. If you don't like what you picked, just switch. You'd be surprised at how similar most programming languages are and how much carryover knowledge there is. My main candidate is obviously Gato. It's really beginner friendly and has grown a pretty large community recently. 
But how I started programming was actually through p5.js. Speaking of p5.js, Daniel Schiffman at The Coding Train has a god tier legendary coding challenge series where he explores programming and math concepts. I highly recommend you follow along and tinker with those. They're jam packed with value. And if you do end up needing to search up a math concept, just remember the internet is full of people that will happily teach you this stuff. You just gotta go and get it. So in conclusion, yes, you will use maths doing game dev, but it's absolutely not a requirement. You don't need to go hardcore learning maths. All you need is a process oriented mindset. Now, go have fun programming. I hope you learned something. See you next time.